Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sick, and I want to bring you some MQ2 status updates. So, as we all know, I am a new programmer, uh, which means I don't know how to do this shit, uh, which means my code is bad, which means as I acquire new skills, I'm going to try and go back and, uh, and refactor this stuff to be a little bit more uh, presentable and professional. So, with a lot of feedback and help from uh, folks like uh, Brainiac and Knightley and Chat With His Name, um, I had a list of stuff that I wanted to go back and fix, and um, it all came together at a time that um, I decided to just go and do it. And um, So we got a bunch of updates in here, and while I was doing those updates, I decided to try to incorporate some of the other feedback that I got from folks who wanted to use DanNet, for example. So I um, contacted Danuick on a couple of problems and questions I had about incorporating it, and uh, he was very gracious, and he helped me out. So now MQ2 status will use uh, we also use DanNet, um, but if we do a status help, um, we're going to see all of our options again, just like normal. Um, some of the color has been updated just for readability. Um, but if I do like a status item uh, bone chips, uh, we're going to see it reporting out to uh, DanNet bone chips zero. Now if you notice. Bone chips is in orange, and then the the value that's being returned back is in green. It's going to be standard in all of the uh, outputs that we do. That is going to return back that. So whatever uh, whatever the item it's checking, it's going to be in orange, and then whatever the value returned back for that is going to be in green. Um, I'm really excited about this. It just looks really clean when we do like a slash status merc. Uh, you know. If there's something that needs to bring attention to our, our eyes, it's going to be in red. So if I'm checking my mercenary state, it's suspended. It's going to come back as red. I'm checking it for a reason, and I might be surprised that it's suspended. Um, so we have that. We have, like, status, bag, space. want to check that. We have status, uh, parcel. Um, now, this one's in teal just because we don't have any parcel. So if we have a parcel, it's going to be green. If we have the parcel overload, it's going to be in red. Uh, teal is just whatever generic thing. It's There's only a couple of things that don't follow this orange-green thing, and that's just an example of that. But if we did status stat uh, hdex, it's going to return back uh, hdex in orange, and then our hdex value is going to be in green. Uh, we do status campfire. It's going to say campfire, active is in green, time left, uh, the zone that it's in. We do status invis. Uh, this was a recent update that we I did not too long ago. So looking at this, uh, invis is red and ivu is red, which means I don't have either one. If I throw a regular invis and did status invis, it's going to show invis is green and ivu is still red because I don't have ivu, but I do have regular invis. Um, but all this stuff is in here. Um, I added a couple other options. So you can do status stat endurance, and this will now return endurance the same way that status stat hit points and status stat uh, mana does. Um, I have it returning back 100, even if you have zero, because I have 100% of zero, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, so every, the functionality is pretty much the same with a couple added items. However, it's a lot cleaner to look at. Um, you know, if we do the slash status, we'll see the class plugin is loaded, and you know we have the options. We can turn those off. Uh, you can do the slash uh, slash status show allows toggling on and off the chat with this name class plugins to be visible during slash status. Um, but anyway, so it shows the plugins loaded. Uh, I have a macro running right now. War Bando swap. This was just to show, you know, it showing uh, a macro running and that it's paused. So if I, if I unpause this, the macro is running again. I did a status. It's not going to show that it's paused anymore. If I end the macro and do a status, um, because I have a class plugin loaded, it's not going to say that I don't have a macro. If I did status show warrior off and then I did status, it's going to say that I don't have a macro running. Since I don't have a class plugin either available for my class or I don't have one uh, that I'm watching, then it's going to report back that I don't have a macro. Which so if I did a if I did a you know a query for my entire group to have them all do a slash status is going to report back and I can very quickly identify if one of my characters does not have a macro uh, does not have a macro running. And uh, I think we've all had those circumstances where you know maybe your your crowd control or your healer 
they just decide to do whatever they want. They don't have a macro running or they're uh, paused or they're doing some other bullshit, which means you're going to die. And uh, that was kind of the, you know, the start for this. But um, so we have this working with DanNet. If I do plug in MQ2 DanNet unload and I do plug in MQ2 EQBC uh, and EQBC is loaded, I'm connected and I do a status, it's going to report that back out to EQBC. Now, one of the challenges, something that Daniel Wick helped me with, I had some ideas, but I wasn't really sure how to put them all together. And he helped me figure out how to ensure we have the correct color code. If we're using EQBC and we're outputting to that, the color code for EQBC is different than the regular MacroQuest window color code and the regular uh, uh, output that's used by DanNet is, is that MacroQuest color code. So if those aren't the same, you get really screwy results. So... We needed to make sure we were using the correct color code. So got that sorted out, which is pretty rad. Um, but so if I did status uh, show warrior on, then status, class plugin loaded, it doesn't show the macro, and it shows we're invis. And right now we're doing this in EQBC. Now if you have both loaded, if you have EQBC and DanNet loaded, it's going to output to eqbc just as the general default if both are loaded but if you have one or the other loaded it'll use the correct one um and it's dynamic so if you uh you know you have the plugin loaded you change it right now right this second you just did a status and it showed out an eqbc but you decided to load it right this second um it's gonna when it does the check to see where it should do the thing it'll check and it'll report it out to the correct thing so um so you shouldn't have any issues with that. But anyhow, these are the updates to MQ2 status. Uh, as with anything, I am happy to take suggestions. Uh, definitely understand that, again, I'm a very new programmer, so not everything is super duper easy. Um, like the status invis. Um, you know, this was a little challenging to get figured out on how to make sure that we could return back uh, invis or IVU. Before I was using a macro quest uh, function that returns back your what's called your hide mode. It just says if you're if you have some sort of invis or you're hiding or not. And uh, so the what was reporting back before was just that. So when folks were like, oh it should be easy, just make make it make it give you the IVU, I'm like, uh okay, well um no, I don't know how to do that. So, uh, but we figured it out. So, uh, again, I really do appreciate suggestions and and uh, and functionality. It's very humbling to know that there are people who do use these things. That I've spent a really, really uh, disproportionate amount of time on relative to their actual usefulness and and complexity. So, um, I feel very fortunate to be able to do something that's practical that uh, hopefully brings other people some joy or satisfaction. But um, so that's the updates I have for MQ2 status. I appreciate your time talking uh, or listening to me today, and uh, I will talk to you soon.